What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another New World video. Today we're going to be talking about the infinite chest farm loop that I've run uh, to get recipes and furniture items and stuff and cursed chests. I haven't gotten the cursed chests yet, but people in our guild have gotten the cursed chests from this place or these places we'll talk about. I have gotten things like fluffy stuffing and the dummy frames, legendary materials from these chests. But the biggest thing that I was looking for was a location that I could basically open big chests, not the little baby chests, but tier two chests and above infinitely um, if I felt like just kind of grinding these out. And I want to share with you guys the route that I use. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this. The place that you guys are going to be looking for is Weaver's Fin. Um, the chest that I have showing, for those of you guys who don't know about this website, this is mapgenie.io. But the chests that I have showing here are just tier 2 chests and above, so large chests and above. If you guys are curious, uh, you guys can head over to this side, you guys can activate uh, large chests. You can even activate the elite chests because there are some elite chests here in this area. The reason why I didn't include these is just because they only spawn once a day. So if you guys are doing this route, you guys could run up here, grab all three of these elite chests, and then you know go back to your business, all right? But that's a once every 24 hours type thing instead of, uh, you know, let me just do this during the route. Now, in terms of time, this route takes about 60 minutes, which is around the time it takes for these chests to respawn. So you basically get all of these chests in a specific order, and then you'll teleport back to the beginning, and then just do it again. <laughs> and you can literally run this loop all day. This is a great way to try to get trophy materials, like I said, cursed chests, chests at all, any type of furniture, uh, furniture recipes, cooking recipes, things of that nature. So, so your starting point is always going to be South Pestilence Shrine. If you guys don't have access to the shrine, make sure you get access to the shrine because this is going to be the starting point for you guys. After you guys get to South Pestilence Shrine, what I like to do is I like to start uh, from here. I run straight down here, all right, and then I grab that chest first, and then I'll run this way, and then I'll run this way, and then I'll just grab these in this direction, okay? Then I'll run down here, grab these, run up, grab this over here, and then I'll go straight across to these chests here. And then I'll get all of those and then go this way, this way, this way, straight up through here. I'll cut across this bank here, grab these chests, go up here, I cut down this way, go up this direction here, and then I'll grab these and then I'll start to head down this way. Once I knock those out, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna run back up here then I'm gonna grab all of these chests here. You guys can do these any order you want. It's just kind of personal preference, I guess. And then I'm gonna knock these three out here. Now, after you knock this route out, feel free to rewind this. You guys can see the kind of direction that I run. You're gonna head directly north. You're gonna knock these out here any order that you want, of course. And some of these do stack, but it's like a total of 56 chests or so. And then you'll run up to this chest here, uh, right at the edge of the waterfall here and then you'll come right back to this teleport zone. Once you get back to this teleport zone, you basically will just teleport back down. And if you've done this right, um, let's say if you guys are killing some of the mobs and stuff along the way, you're salvaging the weapons and armor that you have. I found that it nets about 100 Azoth-ish and about 100 or so gold, give or take. But basically the trip should pay for itself if you keep your inventory light. The moment that you start getting your inventory more heavy than necessary, then things start to get a little bit tricky. Uh, but this is a, a chest loop that I use to farm if I'm just like in the chest grinding mood to just get out there and try to find some recipes or pursue that stacked deck for the luck trophy that everybody has been trying to get. Um, this is typically what I what I do. Uh, I've been on the lookout for Orcalcum chests, uh, stack decks, and of course, curse chests because all of those sell for quite a bit of money. Uh, you guys can find some other random miscellaneous stuff here as well uh, that could be helpful for you in your journey. Uh, T2 chests and above are just where it's at. I've tested other locations too, like Morningdale. I had a route in Morningdale. I tested a route in like the higher level zones and stuff like that. But Weaver's Fin, bar none, is probably the best place in the game currently to open chests just because of the frequency of chests and the low risk of dying that you have while you're here. So 
with that being said, guys, uh, that's all I wanted to cover today. Uh, if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns about this particular route, definitely let me know. If you guys are curious about other locations, definitely ask me as well in the comments, and I'll be happy to assist. And that being said, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.